compared to your past streams on Twitch, how's the engagement compared on something like this, where you actually go in with like an initiative and it's not just to play games, it's not just to talk? This is a totally different type of stream. Um, but as you can see from the chat there on the right, this is just a, me randomly firing it up using Restream. Uh, and I'm a Twitch partner, by the way, and I'm restreaming because my agreement has a, I have a non-exclusive agreement with Twitch. Um, it's an old school agreement, but the engagement was great. And it was great that it was focused on a particular topic. So what can be really tough as a Twitch streamer, and I'm sure you guys are aware, is just generally chatting with people about whatever. And it's pretty unstructured. And sometimes it can feel like it's just a hangout or something and be like, oh, bro, how are you doing? Or how was your weekend? Or, and you're talking about all these irrelevant things that aren't really very meaningful or very interesting. And so what I would suggest for you guys, this is note number two, so get your revenue first. Then number two, create a focus for your live streams that you're doing on Twitch that is the most interesting thing to you. And if that focus can be maybe not just the video game, but a thing maybe outside of the video game that can be your go-to topic, your go-to focus that you love to talk about, that can be huge for you. And so I've seen a lot of streamers, so for me, that's helping creators grow. That's the gear, software, live streaming space, social media space. I can talk about that all day. I'm literally talking about it all day right here on the Digital Drop podcast with you guys every day, right? I love it. For other people, I've seen some big successful streamers have that secondary topic be things like, uh, you know, fantasy football is the thing they, they go to. They're always talking about their local team or they're talking about fantasy football or the draft or whatever's happening in sports. Uh, other people talk about esports or other people talk about fashion or whatever it may be that is their, you know, their personal passion topic or whatever. And the reason why I'm recommending that you guys write down whatever that secondary topic is on top of gaming, and maybe you make help make that the focus of your gaming live stream, is for this huge reason. Just chatting is the number one growing category on Twitch, and it's gonna be the number one growing category on all of streaming in the future. And you need to find not just a general, I'm gonna chat topic to break into just chatting, you need to find a niche within just chatting if you wanna break through there because just chatting is going to be the biggest category in 2021. So what's your niche within just chatting? You need to start discovering that today. I already know what mine is because I've already made like 1500 pieces of content, but audience, what is yours? What is your niche within just chatting? You can't just play a video game anymore. It doesn't work. You need to find a niche within just chatting to layer on top of your strategy if you wanna be ahead of the curve in 2021.